Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Mirror Neuron, which means watch and learn. And we were working on building a recommendation system and today we are going to look at the final part and of this series which is the part 4 and whatever we have covered so far in the last three videos I would highly recommend you to go and watch because we have created the theoretical basis on which we are going to do the programming and we have covered simple concepts such as support confidence and lift and if you are not familiar with such concepts then I would highly recommend you to go and watch those videos first because this video today we are just going to implement those concepts and trying to uh, get the result and put them back in a data frame so that we can do our final presentation on this right okay so the first thing that we are going to do today is uh, see how many orders do we have so we already know and have seen this but just for our uh, reminder we want to show that there are 32 million orders data that we are processing here okay the second thing we need some helping function here so that we can find how many times an item is repeating okay and how many order items do we have so when you say order items that means how many items there are in total that has been ordered so yes one item suppose apple is an item and how many times that apple has been ordered okay so those two things we want to find out and for that we can because we would need them over and over again so it's better we put them in a function okay so the first thing that we are going to do is calculate the item frequency that means how many times that item has been repeated and also you want to see the support so if you are not clear on this concept of support uh, I'll try to explain it shortly here but then for the complete explanation along with examples uh, I would highly recommend go and watch the part one two and three okay so item stats so you can see that just by a simple calculation we get to see the item number 24852 so it could be a product say for example apple so it has appeared around 47 uh, it's around 4 lakh 72 uh, in in indian uh, terminology it's 4.72 lakhs um, so that means that many number of times it has been ordered and so we can see a very high support value for that one around 15 percent okay great so similarly we can see that the enter all the items and we can see what is their frequency and the support there will be items uh, which will be ordered very less as you can see 30087 has been ordered very frequent very uh, infrequently that means very limited number of times okay so how this calculation was done as i was telling you there are 3214874 unique uh, so basically it's 3.2 million um, unique records for the order and it was uh, said the first item was ordered 472565 times so you can see the support is around 14.6 percent if i scroll back up so you can see the first one is 14.6 okay that's the definition of support but we have also covered many theoretical explanation why we are doing this so that's those are covered in video one two and three okay so the next thing is uh, because some of the items might be ordered very few number of times so we would like to set up the uh, a minimum support value so in this case uh, we are using a value of 0.1 and uh, you can see the minimum value in the list is actually 3.1 to the power minus 5 okay that's a that's what we saw in the last value right is 0 0.00031 and so on so why we are doing this because we don't want to unnecessarily take all the items which was not even ordered even a couple of times to use for our recommendations right then it will skew our uh, recommendation system that is the main reason behind using this support concept so again uh, we have also clearly saw with examples and small small example that how we can create a small function to get the item pair combinations as well as i will be able to count those pairs as well so this function is given here uh, get item pairs and that is also covered in a detail in our part one two and three so we are just going to reuse them here okay and because we are taking a minimum support of 0.1 so we are basically filtering out all those orders and all those items where those uh, you know minimum support was uh, found okay so we can see a list of qualifying items okay 
and those are the uh, items basically we are going to work with and we have removed the ones that have minimum support so here we are only calculating the support for individual items okay going forward we'll have to calculate the frequency and the support for the item pairs as well okay just to make sure that you understand the difference okay so items with support so we can see that now uh, you know only we are left with 1700 uh, items only and the there are number of orders also got reduced to around around 20 uh, million something so remember we started with 32 million orders and now we have got down to 20 million orders okay these are all the orders not the unique orders okay so again we will remove the orders which are which is less than two products and item in it so we are filtering first we filtered our data set using the support condition now we are also filtering our data set uh, based on how many items uh, was ordered in a, in a order okay so for example say there was one order where they have ordered only apple and egg then we are removing those kind of orders where they have ordered only two items okay so you're interested to remove oh, sorry we are removing anything that has only one order okay all right so that way we are filtering again and now we can see the remaining orders with two plus item has again you know came down to a very small number we started with 3.2 million now we are only at 2.7 million okay now uh, that was the first thing that we have done now what we are going to do based on the item pairs again we are going to see how many times each pair was you know ordered and based on that we are also going to calculate the support for those item pairs initially we were only looking at individual items like an apple or an egg or a broccoli here we are going to see how many times apple and broccoli was ordered together how many times apple and egg was ordered together and so on nothing fancy all we are doing is just repeating the same calculation for the group now okay so you can see now those for those order item uh, what is the frequency and what is the support okay all right so this is just displaying all the values so, so again there will be a question on minimum uh, support so we are going to use the same point one value there so we are going to generate now the item pairs using the get item pairs already the function that you saw I will also put the link to this code in the description section so that you can download and utilize it in your projects. Okay, so now same calculation again. We are doing the minimum frequency and support now for the item pairs, not on the just the items. Okay. In our examples in part 1, 2 and 3, we were using X and Y to explain the terms like uh, confidence and lift. So we are going to use the same you know notations uh, so when we say support x and y uh, that means we are taking two items x and y and now x and y could be anything could be apple and egg and so on so now that when we filter them out with the minimum support now we got down from 1700 items to now 1560 items that means we were able to again filter out few more pairs which was not very much giving us more information all right so now let's put them all together and it's always convenient to put them in a function so what we are doing is we are just merging these columns together and once we merge them then basically we'll have this frequency frequency of one particular item the support of one particular item then we'll also get the frequency of the other item and the support of that item and so on and eventually also bring them together with confidence of x to y confidence of y to x and so on these terms as I, was, as I keep saying it keeps me reminding that some people might start with this particular video so I would definitely encourage you to go and watch part 1, 2 and 3. Okay so now that we uh, also want to highlight and repeat here that confidence from A to B is different compared to confidence uh, B to A. Similarly confidence from X to Y is different from confidence Y to X as I have explained in part 3 okay so now that we you know we were able to calculate these are all if you see just dividing one ratio with the another one right nothing fancy we have done so far all right so now that we are in the last league so all we want to do is that we have been playing around with the item numbers right now we would like to bring together the item name as well because item name gives us more meaningful understanding of what items are we recommending right so item number itself will not give us much of the information of course playing with numbers is easy 
but with text we can also do much more things uh, like you know recommending product based on the similarity of the names right but of course that is beyond the scope of this project for this for the time being we hope to bring you you know we we definitely wish to bring you such project as well in the near future when we work with natural language processing kind of projects but for now understand that we are just using the item number for the recommendation purpose but going forward we can use the name also for making our recommended system even better okay so we are just going to merge this name so that we can see what items has been you know put together based on the support confidence and lift so we have the data set i put the url right here so you can see that uh, we are just reading the item name and we are merging them with the original uh, calculations that we have bought and we are just doing a merge here that's it we are just merging two data frames together based on the product id because uh, the item name is from the product item name and that's what we are doing okay so once we do this now you can see that our final result would look something like this that you know uh, what are the items uh, you know uh, frequently occur with another item so basically if i buy an apple what is the chance that i will be buying another item but this representation of data is not very uh, convenient to read because of these are all numbers but if i convert and show only the names it will start making sense that whether we did a good job or not i'm going all the way down so if you see now if i only pull the item x and item y and their frequency and lift you can see that icelandic star uh, style blueberry non-fat yogurt has been frequently bought with another non-fat raspberry yogurt so you can see now that you know even though we did not use the names of the product but we were still able to do a very good recommendation say that yes these two items frequently occurred together so we would like to recommend this if you scroll down a little bit you can see there are a lot of yogurt because it's a grocery store so you'll see a lot of uh, you know uh, yogurt and all those kind of names so uh, there will be vegetables etc if you see this one uh, where it says 1555 organic zucchini zucchini and squash are from the same family if you know so you can see organic zucchini has been ordered frequently with organic yellow squash right sparkling water grapefruit has been ordered frequently with sparkling lemon water so we can see that the people tend to buy similar product which has similar name right so we can also do further analysis on this so what we mean to say is that just by using simple concepts such as support lift and confidence we were able to come up together that what next time we can recommend to our customers if they have bought say non-fat raspberry yogurt then you can see the converse is also true they have been ordering icelandic style blueberry non-fat yogurt as well so that means they both has been a common choice for people when they order both the things together which this is quite interesting and this becomes the basis for majority of our recommendation system so i'm i'm i hope that this gives you an some idea how to build a recommendation system so that you know you are uh, comfortable in building recommendation system from other, for other areas as well maybe like an apparel store and or, or mobile accessories etc all right so thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel we have so far 3000 supporters thanks to everybody uh, and please share your feedback so that we can come up with new projects our next project is coming soon and most likely that will be on deep learning but we also hope to bring you more machine learning projects as well so that you can work on simpler projects all right thanks for watching and please stay tuned